I think it's steak. And ribs. I wonder what they're doing. Me too. Not that I care. Why should we care? Oh, for crying out loud! Look at the whole neighborhood over there. There's Nissan's jogger. There's Christmas lights up until April, family. How do you like this? Everybody but us. Honey, when you nodded to him the other morning, it was a polite nod, right? Very polite. Of course, there was the whole sneeze thing. Sneeze? What sneeze? The guy sneezed and I didn't say anything. Not even God bless you? I can't say that. I'm not going to start a whole conversation about religion. What about Cassandra? <laughs> froze! I am not an animal! <laughs> oh, man, those ribs look like something out of the Flintstones. <laughs> Tony, I, I, I just feel kind of strange crashing their party. We're not, we're not crashing. Crashing is when someone doesn't want you. Once they realize that we're receptive to their friendship, <laughs> they're going to welcome us right in. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> Hope we didn't come at a bad time. I'm Tony Kleinman. <laughs> this is my wife, Dana. Hi. Andrew McClip. Uh, this is my wife, Jane. Hi. <laughs> you, uh, you probably recognize me from, from TV. No. no. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I host a sports show. And if, uh, if a million viewers can be called little... When I saw you the other day, I wanted to say something, but on show days, I have to, uh, rest my instrument. Why don't you rest it right now? Anyway, uh, we just wanted to, uh, give you our traditional welcome to the neighborhood bottle of wine. Oh, oh that really isn't necessary. Oh, no, it's our pleasure. <laughs> it's a very good bottle. It goes very well with steak. And ribs. <laughs> Well, thanks. Bye. I'm telling you, my neighbors invited every freak in a 10-block radius except for us. Even gave them an expensive bottle of Tilden Ridge Cabernet. Tilden Ridge? I gave you that bottle for your anniversary. <laughs> yeah, and when I got it, it said, Happy Birthday, Bernie. All right? Can we stay focused on the topic here? It's like the guy just slammed the door on us, like... Get lost! Who does a thing like that? Me. Right now, if I had a door. <laughs> you know, the hysterical thing is, this guy doesn't think I say gesundheit. And I say it all the time. Gesundheit, ma'am. Gesundheit, little fella. I'm a gesundtor. <laughs> I just... I gotta find another reason to talk to this guy. Hey. Maybe I could return a piece of his mail. Do you have a piece of his mail? No, I'd have to steal it out of his mailbox. <laughs> you do know that tampering with mail is a federal crime. Isn't it a crime to not connect with your fellow man? You know what? Represent yourself in court and use that. Well, unless you give me another bottle of wine, this is the best idea I've got. Tony, you're working too hard. You turn people off when you act desperate. Now, you remember how I played it with Susan yesterday? You, my friend, are about to watch it pay off. Hey, Susan. I was uh, headed down to the cafeteria. Thanks for the update. <laughs> uh, you know, I hate to eat alone. Uh-huh. <laughs> you want to grab some lunch? Oh, sorry. I already <laughs> ate. All right, that's not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Well, you really got under her skin. She's like a stalker. No, it's working. It's just taking a little longer than usual, that's all. Uh -huh. Well, good luck with all that. I'm gonna go change into some jeans that'll hug my butt. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna go steal a letter from my neighbor's mailbox. Call me if you need bail.
Tony? Ah! <laughs> oh! Andrew, <laughs> you startled me. <laughs> Why are you opening my mailbox? I, uh, we got a letter addressed to you. I was just returning it. I'm, I'm just considerate like that. So where is it? Where's what? The letter? You know the letter, of course. The letter. <laughs> where did I... I put the, um... Oh, boy, am I embarrassed. <laughs> Come over here to return the letter. I leave the letter at home. I am so dumb. I'll bring it back later. Oh, that's okay. You know, I'll come get it now. Great! 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 <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Does your address 3411? Sure looks like it. Oh. You see, the letter was addressed to 3412. <laughs> there is no 3412. Exactly. And that is why I'm going back home and put that ill-addressed letter right where it belongs in the circular file. All right, buddy. <laughs> Tony, there is no letter, is there? Sorry, Andrew. I, uh... I was just trying to start over. You know, we had that bad beginning with the sneeze thing. The sneeze thing? Yeah, you know, you sneezed. I didn't say anything. You didn't invite us to your party. Well, that's not why. Well, then what is it? Well, this is going to sound kind of petty, but, uh... Truthfully, Jane and I feel being friends with the neighbors right next door is kind of a hassle. We, we like to keep a respectful distance. You gotta be kidding. I have the same policy. We're, we're, we're two of a kind. We are. Yeah, same policy, same street, <laughs> same taste in music. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's gotta be a bride. Bright, 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 sunshiny day. <laughs> That's my wife's tape. I hate that song. Yeah, it's overrated. It's overrated. <laughs> well, all right then. I, I, Andrew, Andrew, you know what? Wait a minute. I, I got an idea. Why don't, why don't you guys come over for dinner tomorrow and meet the family?